Hey there guys, welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for Lovecraft Country Season 1 that just finished on HBO Max. Uh, it's a TV show that's based on a novel of the same name and it mixes a bit of mythology, the supernatural with um, old school America. Um, it takes place after the Tulsa Massacre, during the time of Jim Crow laws and things like that, so race relations are still a big thing. And it kind of deals with um, the descendants of Adam and Eve who still have their blood and how the family is trying to reuse magic so that they can introduce their spells on the world, dominate the family, dominate the world, get spells of invulnerability and things like that. And um, along those lines, it introduces various characters. So um, you have characters like Atticus who have that blood because of... Um, events that happened between his I think mom or grandmother and um, a guy who is a descendant of Adam and Eve so kind of a lot of different um, stories and aspects going on so the show does a very good thing where it mixes all of those various elements and uh, mixes them together but also introduces supernatural elements like um, ogres and vampires and magic being invulnerable being able to change your body from male to female kind of along the lines of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde but less of the angry rage monster and more of just changing your sex from one to another or changing your look so you can look like someone else so overall the show was very interesting in that it presented those elements very well um, I don't know if I like how they introduce the stories over various episodes just because it felt like an anthology but it didn't really it felt all over the place when you watch it week to week when you look at it as a whole it generally worked and I like the ending that Atticus was the key to everything but um we weren't sure if he was going to die by the end of it if his baby was going to survive what's going to happen with Letitia and um Atticus's possible dad or uncle it's hard to say because of the whole fathering thing but um, and then also the story with Letitia's sister and her family and how some of them could use magic and um, what her intentions were if um, she was going to side with the family or with Christina Brathelwaite. I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong, but overall the series is worth watching if you're interested in period pieces mixed with a bit of the supernatural or otherworldly. So... This is, of course, going into it without having read the novel. I heard it stays pretty close to it. There's a few elements that are, of course, changed or not around. But overall, it is a show that is worth watching. So that's all I really got to say about that. Um, it is it does have a bit of the horror element to it. So it works out as far as the period or the top time in which the show is finishing and airing. And it kind of makes me want to read the novel, but I'm undecided on that. I'll probably add it to my Goodreads list at some point just to see how that holds up. And it's hard to say if they'll even do a season two to go beyond the novel and see if they follow the lives of Atticus and Letitia. See if they do maybe like a 50 years later do a follow-up show just to see what's going on now that they do have the magic and they can make themselves immortal and they've taken the power away from the Brightle Waits and they have the book of names in their possession. So that's all there is for that. Um, if you So if you have your own feedback, want to get in touch with me, want more information on what other parts of the show or things I might have missed in my review, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.